Hi, everybody. I'm Chatty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture, and it's time for the weekend entertainment update. So imagine yourself, you're the first lady of the country. Then you're no longer the first lady in your life after the White House. We're talking about Michelle Obama. We're talking about Becoming. Her best-selling book, which took the world by storm, it took in like over $36 million. She went on this fabulous tour. Well, now we're going to see the documentary on the Becoming tour with Michelle Obama. Look out for it. It's one of the deals that the Obamas had with Netflix. It's coming to Netflix. Mark your calendar for this Tuesday, May 6th, the documentary on former First Lady Michelle Obama and Becoming. I've got lots of Disney news for you. A couple of weeks ago, ABC Disney, they did a Disney sing-along, you know, to help people keep sane while they're being quarantined. Well, get ready for Mother's Day Sunday, May 10th. They're doing another Disney sing-along. As soon as we have more details, we're going to let you know. But the first one was such a hit with millions tuning in with their families and singing along. Disney has decided to do it again. Portions of the proceeds for Disney's ABC Family Sing-Along is going to benefit Feeding America. Another Disney Family Sing-Along is taking place on Mother's Day, May 10th. Another big project that Disney is undertaking, you know, face masks are now a part of our lives. Well, how about your face mask with a Disney twist? For $19.99, you can get a package of four. Maybe you'd like Mickey Mouse, maybe Baby Yoda. How about the Disney princesses? For a pack of four, just go to Disney.com. All proceeds are going to help to benefit an organization providing medical assistance to underserved communities. Can you see it? You go out with your mask and your Minnie or Mickey. For more info, go to Disney.com. A little earlier, I was talking about Feeding America. It's an organization that is helping many families that are going hungry during this pandemic, this quarantine situation. So many people are losing jobs. And there are so many families that are hungry. How about a little comic relief to the rescue? You know, Eddie Murphy was teasing that he was getting back at the stand-up comedy. Well, mark your calendar for Saturday, May 9th. It's going to be on the Weather Channel. Now you're probably saying, Patty, why the Weather Channel? The Weather Channel is owned by TV mogul Byron Allen. Let me tell you about what he's putting on for that night. You've got Eddie Murphy, Chris Rock, Tiffany Haddish, Howie Mandel, Billy Crystal, Marlon Wayans, Kevin Hart. This Feeding America Comedy Festival, you're going to see all of your favorite comedians and it's going to be pre-recorded bits at their home. It's a three-hour event. It airs on Saturday, May 9th. Food and security is a problem in our country, and these comedians are all coming together to not only raise money for Feeding America, but of course, to make you laugh. We've got news on Babyface for our entertainment update. He did so well with his IG battle with Teddy Riley that Babyface is coming back just in time for Mother's Day. On Mother's Day on Instagram, Babyface is going to be presenting Waiting to Exhale. We all remember the movie Angela Bassett burning that car. Angela Bassett, Loretta Devine, of course, Whitney Houston. A phenomenal movie, but the soundtrack was hot as well. Babyface is going to be playing the soundtrack and telling stories. One thing that Babyface does well and what I loved when he did his IG with Teddy Riley, he told the most amazing stories, and Babyface says he's got a lot of stories to tell about that Waiting to Exhale project. This is a very exciting time for Babyface. He's also coming out with a new album, his first album in five years. 
Okay, so I'm hearing that a biopic is coming on Janet Jackson. Yeah, she's 53. Is it too soon? She's had an amazing career, selling over 100 million albums. Yeah, she's Michael Jackson's baby sister, coming from a musical dynasty, but she is a musical force within herself. Who's going to play Janet Jackson? Will it be a newcomer? How much are they going to talk about her life, her personal life, the private marriages, the Super Bowl fiasco? Will they include Bobby Brown? So many facets to Janet Jackson, but a biopic is in the works on her life. Okay, you got the ring. You're ready to walk down the aisle. Now it's time for the most important part, planning your wedding. And you know what? You need to have Focus Weddings doing your wedding. First off, it's a very quick turnaround. You don't have to wait a thousand years to get the video of your big day. All the details are at the bottom of the screen. Quality work, memories, and I'm going to tell you the best thing about Focus Weddings. They capture the moment. They capture the memories to make you say, wow, I had a great day. Do not, I'm telling you, do not get married without Focus Weddings. All the info is on the bottom of the screen. If you want to send me an invite, I can come too, maybe dance in the video. But you want your wedding day to be memorable. Because check this out. Even if the marriage doesn't last, you're going to have a great video. Focus Weddings. All the info is on the bottom of the screen.